सिलेक्ट द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला ऑफ दी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू व्यू जीरो नाउ इन थियरी वी स्टडीड दिस थिंग दैट दी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू व्यू जीरो दैट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एनर्जी डेंसिटी मींस दैट इज एनर्जी अपॉन वॉल्यूम so if we take the dimensional formula of energy then that is m1 l2 t minus 2 for volume l3 so resultantly you will get m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 so your answer that is equal to d now question 22 mu 0 is a permeability of vacuum i am is a susceptibility then permeability of the material is so in theory we derive this relation c and as per that mu that is equal to mu 0 into 1 plus i m so answer is d this is theory based directly now question number 23 in raman scattering stocks and empty stocks lines respectively represents line with which and which wavelength so this one you have to remember high and low so stock lines represent the high wavelength and empty stock lines represent low wavelength then question number 24 for the astronomical telescope the focal length of objective lens is f0 and the eyepiece lens is fe then the tube length of the telescope is how much now see we know this thing in astronomical telescope the image formed by objective lens that will be at its focal point so that is v1 but that particular image behave like object for eyes and for eyes that particular image formed by objective that should be at distance equal to less than or equal to fe so here the probable answer that we can give l that should be less than or equal to f a plus f e clear so here there is a mistake you have to take answer c okay now question number 25 time taken by sunlight to pass through a slab of 4 cm and refractive index 1.5 is how much second so first of all we have to find the velocity of light in the medium so distance that we have to cover in the medium 4 cm refractive index of the medium that is 1.5 so mu that is c by u as per definition so velocity that is c by u substitute the values you will get velocity in the slab now time taken by it to cover the distance d that is t equal to d by v so substitute the value of d 4 cm so that is 4 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter upon velocity that is 2 into 10 raised to 8 so you will get the answer 2 into 10 raised to minus 10 second so your answer that is d clear now question number 26 A convex lens of focal length 12.5 cm is used as a simple microscope when the image is formed at infinite magnification is how much near point for the normal vision is 25 cm we have the equation for the magnifying power so that is m equal to d by f e that is the near point distance that is given to you 25 So 25 upon focal length that is 12.5 cm. So magnification for the simple microscope that is equal to 2. So your answer that is C. Question 27. In experiment of Davidson, the number emitted electrons from the filament is accelerated through voltage V. Then the probability wavelength of the electron will be what? Here we have to give answer in terms of v accelerated potential now see kinetic energy that is half mv square equal to ev because the charge means electron is accelerated with potential difference of v mu so velocity that is here we can write the equation for the velocity under root 2 ev by m 
Now we have the equation for the Broglie wavelength that is lambda equal to h by p, p that is m b. Now in this equation substitute v that is under root two e v by m. So resultantly you will get h upon under root two e v m. So your answer that will be equal to d. Now question number twenty eight. Photons of energy one electron volt and two point five electron volt successively illuminated a metal whose work function is point five electron volt. The ratio of maximum speeds of emitted electrons is what? Now we have the equation for the maximum kinetic energy with which electrons are emitted. That is half m v maximum square. That is. H mu H mu that is the energy of incident photon minus phi phi that is the work function of the metal. Now see here energy for the incident photons given to you work function that is given to you. So if we consider here this type of two equations and then if we take the ratio and if we make v maximum. Here one upon v maximum two, then we will get resultantly that is h mu one minus five upon h mu two minus five whole raised to one by two and half m half m that will be cancelled. So now substitute the value for first photon energy is one electron volt work function point five for second one. Energy of photon 2.5 work function 0.5, so you will get the ratio of the maximum velocities with which electrons are emitted. Now, question number 29. The number of turns in the coil of AC generator are 100, and its cross-sectional area that is 2.5 meter square. The coil is resolving, revolving in a uniform magnetic field of strength 0.3 tesla, with a uniform angular velocity of 60 radians per second. The value of maximum value produced in kilo volt that is how much? Now, here the maximum EMF produced that is. So we have the equation E that is n v a omega sine omega t. If here we derive this one, when sine omega t that is equal to one, our EMF induced that will be maximum. So E maximum that is n v a omega. Now see n number of turns hundred given to you. B that is point three tesla. Area two point five meter square. Omega that is sixty radians per second. If you substitute all these values, then you will get answer four point five into ten raised to three volt. Ten raised to three means kilo. So here you have to give answer in terms of kilo volt. So your answer that is four point five. Clear? Now question number thirty. If R and L be not the distance and inductance respectively, which of the following has dimensions of time? Now see, time constant has a dimension equal to dimensions of time. Now see here. Suppose we think about L by R. So L by R that is the time constant of L R circuit. So for L, the unit that is what second per ampere. For resistance, volt per ampere. So volt per ampere cancel. Finally, you are getting the unit that is second. It implies that. Your answer that is L by R means B, which have the dimensions of time itself. Clear? Now question number thirty-one. In an AC circuit, current is three ampere, voltage is two hundred and ten volt, and power is sixty-three watt. The power factor is what? Very simple question. We have the equation for power in the AC circuit that is. I V cos theta, so cos theta that is called power factor. So make it subject of equation cos theta that is P upon I V. Substitute the values. Power given to you sixty three watt. Current that is three ampere. Voltage that is two hundred and ten. Then you will get the answer point one. Means your answer that is D. 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू फॉर एन ए सी गिवन बाय आई दैट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी कॉस हंड्रेड टी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एम पी एम द वैल्यू ऑफ आई आर एम एस दैट इज हाउ मच एम पी एम नाउ कंपेयर दिस गिवन इक्वेशन विथ आई इक्वल टू आई जीरो कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव सो I zero the maximum current that is fifty, and we have the relationship I R M S that is I zero upon root two, so fifty by root two, so you will get the answer twenty five root two ampere. Means your answer that is B. Now question number thirty three. An AC voltage V equal to five cos one thousand T volt is applied to a large series circuit of inductance three milli henry. And resistance four ohm. The value of maximum current in the circuit is what? So maximum current that is equal to maximum voltage upon impedance of the circuit. Now compare this given equation V equal to five cos thousand T volt with V equal to V zero cos omega T. Means our maximum voltage that is five volt. Omega that is one thousand radian per second. L three milli henry. So three into ten raised to minus three henry given to you. Resistance that is four ohm given to you. Now maximum current I zero that is V zero by Z. Z that is what? So this one is series L R circuit. It implies that for series L R circuit Z that is under root. Omega square L square plus R square, or we can write omega L whole square plus R square. Substitute the value of omega 1000 L3 into 10 raised to minus 3 whole square plus resistance R that is 4 whole square. So V0 that is 5. Finally, you will get the answer 1 ampere. Means your answer that is B. Now. Question number thirty-four. In medicine to destroy cancer cells, which rays are used? So the rays which are highly energetic one are used here. So we know this thing. Gamma rays are highly energetic ones who are used to destroy cancer cells. Now question number thirty-five. For a radiation of nine gigahertz passing through air, the number of waves passing through one meter length is what? Now, frequency that is nine gigahertz, so that is nine into ten raised to nine hertz. Speed of light that is three into ten raised to eight meter per second. Lambda that is c by f, so you will get lambda that is ten raised to minus one by three. Now we want the number of waves passing through one meter means passing through unit length. So that is n equal to length upon lambda, because in lambda length one wave is there. Therefore, in one meter, how many waves are there? Simple. So one upon substitute the value of lambda ten raised to minus one by three. So your answer that will be thirty means a. Clear. Now question number thirty six. In Young's double slit experiment, if the distance between two slits is equal to the wavelength of used light, then the maximum number of bright fringes obtained on the screen will be how much? Now see, we want maximum number of bright fringes. It implies that we have to think about the condition for constructive interference. So, for constructive interference, we sign theta that is n lambda. Means sine theta that is equal to n lambda by d. Now we know this thing. The value of sine theta that should be less than or equal to one. So this should be less than or equal to one. Now here it is given to you. D that is equal to lambda d by is maximum possible value of n here. That should be equal to one. It implies that you are getting first order constructive interference. So you will get total three bright fringes. How? One that is the central maxima. Then on either side you will get one one bright fringes according to.
फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्राइम फ्रीबी दैट विल बी थ्री क्लियर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन ओके If the wavelength of light used is 6000 angstrom, the angular resolution of telescope of objective lens having diameter 10 cm is how much radian? Now we have the equation for the angular resolution or limit of resolution that is sine theta, which is nearly equal to theta, is 1.22 lambda by d. So 1.22 lambda that is 6000 angstrom. So 6000 into 10 is to minus 10 upon d. 10 centimeter that is 10 into 10 is to minus 2. Solve it. You will get the answer 7.32 into 10 is to minus 6. Means your answer is d. Here yeah? now question number 38. In the discharge tube, as the density of atom increases, the intensity of spectral lines that will be increasing continuously because if number density of atoms increases, then more number of radiations will be emitted, and these radiations emitted will be with same wavelength or we can say frequencies. So obviously. Your intensity that will be increasing one. Now question number thirty nine. The ionization potential of hydrogenic ions P and Q are V P and V Q respectively. If V Q is less than V P, then red eye. Now we know this thing. If we think about the lower orbit, then The required ionization potential is more, and because it have more energy to supply to release the electron. And if we think about the higher orbit, then to release the electron in that particular orbit, we have to supply less energy. Means if V P is greater than V Q, so R P that is less than R P because I have addition potential inversely proportional to the radii of the object. Now question number forty. In the given nuclear reaction, four B E nine plus two H E four gives you six C twelve plus X. Here X represents what? So now as per the conservation of atomic mass number and atomic number. Say nine plus four, so atomic mass number that is on left hand side thirty, on right hand side twelve means for x it should be equal to one. Now atomic number four plus two means total z value that is six on right hand side it is six means for x it is zero. So here this one is x is the neutron particle because for neutron we can write that is. Zero and one. If atomic number is zero and mass number that is one. Clear? So now paper is completed.